I think Born is a great example of uh, Canada's feminist international assistance policy in action. It's about empowering women. It's about the sexual reproductive health and rights of women, having them understand uh, concepts like child spacing, uh, age-appropriate birth, um, that they actually have control of their lives. And what I like about it as well is it uh, includes men in the equation. Uh, men come in, that they're guided, uh, that they're part of the... Uh, uh, they understand their commitment to their family and to their spouses. So overall, I think it's a very uh, innovative program. Uh, I'm really pleased to be seeing it today, seeing the work that's being done, and I'm also really encouraged by the sustainability. Uh, we have a similar program called Show in Sokoto. The two programs are working together, well linked, and also a lot of the work ties in best practices uh, to the ministries of health at both the state level and the federal level. So overall, it's a very uh, integrated project uh, which supports the Government of Canada's objectives related to our feminist international assistance policy. Well, Canada's been uh, in Bauchi for uh, many years. We've had a focus on health. We've had a focus on maternal newborn child health. Um, I think it strengthens uh, the capacities in the communities. Um, and I think it reflects our overall emphasis in Nigeria, where we've been a development partner for many years, uh, to create um, stronger uh, facilities and infrastructure, uh, particularly around women's health which of course supports Nigeria in many other ways than just the health of women and children. A healthy population and a healthy labor force is going to help Nigeria to grow and develop. Um, you know, one of the concepts of the program I really like as well, and I saw this yesterday in DAS with the 100 Women's Group and then with the women here this morning, is that they're taking ownership of it and that they are spreading the good word about the services that are offered and about uh, the lessons that can be learned from it to improve their health, to improve their children's health, and to ensure um, that their families are planned and spaced in the way that they should be. Well, I think Canadians should be interested in these issues because uh, Canadians naturally um, care about other people. There's a compassion there that uh, we're proud of internationally. And this is the type of program I think where people are making donations. Uh, they can be comfortable that their dollars will be well spent, uh, that they will be put toward the community level, towards uh, women and children directly uh, to ensure their health. Um, and that the lessons that are learned from it in terms of concepts such as family planning and child spacing and also um, the research that is being done and being used at the state and national levels with ministries of health will enable Nigeria to offer better services uh, to their population, particularly to, to women and children. So I'm quite impressed with this. I think it's a very much a sustainable project that is already linking to other projects around the country and really sets a model uh, that can be used internationally in many different countries around the world.